Hello everyone, I'm ExtraTZ87 and this is Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Part 13. In the previous video we kicked off Chapter Slash Trial 4 and I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. All I know is that Maya loaded in and Maya's hitting us with the turbo pout and it's playing like, you know, fast paced music. So I'm guessing something urgent's going on. Do we, do we go back and talk to Edgy Boy? No? Okay. I do remember we went to... Yeah, we're supposed to go to Grossberg, right? Because we talked to Gumshoe, and then he told us to go talk to Grossberg, I want to say. Ahem! Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Ah, you're Mia's, uh, something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes, Phoenix, right? Ah, yes, and you're Mia's something too, are you not? <laughs> I am very observant. Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. 400 years ago. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Uh, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course, you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? You ever seen a real life attorney's badge? You've really grown up in the past few years, my dear. How proud Mia would be if she could see you now. He said she was more worried about me than anything. Yeah, just go and take the compliment, will you? Also, you completely ignored what I showed you? You ever seen a, you ever heard of G Gordy? My apologies. I'm not sure I can help you with that. So, this is the moment the crime took place, eh? Uh, yeah. You can't really say for sure that's Edgeworth. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Not sure at all. Alright, wh what's up? There was a murder last night. A murder? This is the first time hearing about it. You haven't heard? I, uh, just got up, you see. But we just showed you the photo and you reacted like you already knew the conversation? Hmm... Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? <laughs> Who'd he shoot? Did they deserve it? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. Guess he hadn't heard anything. So, Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Ah, yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's just my, ju it's my just desserts, old, bitter desserts. Uh, you're not, you're not really, you're not really helping me, dude? I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah, did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? I mean, I guess. Ever seen a camera? Oh, this camera on the lake takes a photo whenever it hears an explosive sound. Uh, better not let me go around it after I've had refried beans, if you know what I mean. Ha ha ha! Um, that's what she said. And it just happened to be set up on the beach, pointing out on the lake? Uh, yeah, she said it was to photograph shooting stars. Hmm, shooting stars, explosions. What's the connection? I'd be suspicious of this witness of yours. Yeah, that, that is kind of a, I mean, they re really, the stars wouldn't be making much noise. Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6, why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Faye, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. For some reason, they wouldn't accept our weird pseudoscience. I can't believe it. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct? 
Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. I mean, okay, even if the guy did it, if I go to jail because some fucking spirit medium said she talked to a ghost and said I did it, you know how fucking mad I would be? That's one of those situations where even if the person is guilty, I would want them to go free just because that's nonsense and you shouldn't be able to convict someone on that. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes, quite. I didn't abandon your family or nothing. I'm not a bad guy. Thank you. So, uh, please, d d don't mention it. EL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. Really, it, I mean, it seemed pretty, like, foreshadowy back when we first saw it. But wait, what does that case have to do with anything with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe that's why he doesn't like defense attorneys, because he feel like his father's murderer got away? Wh what? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Misty Fay. It was a dark and misty Fay. Get it? Like dark and misty day, but but Fay and that. Uh, sorry. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. He hasn't found anyone yet. Can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again. Just leave me alone. Uh, that's not really gonna happen. You're kind of a captive audience right now. Please try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case. Understand? Why'd you go to Gord Lake? I have no intention of telling you. Or, apparently, would you tell Detective Gumshoe? Detective Gumshoe was really worried about you. Um... You ever seen a real-life picture of a dead woman? Or, I don't... She's, she's not dead, is she? I don't know. I guess she's deceased. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. That you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it. I'm impressed, right? You're always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well, I'll take off my clothes. I mean, uh, ask whatever you like and I will answer to the best of my abilities. DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy, misty if you will. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested, a man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit meeting they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. So you got motive. That spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... Do, do you feel bad about trying to get her killed, uh, you know, a couple, like a month or so ago? No? Okay. It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now this. About to end? The L6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. December 28th? Statue of Limitations on the case runs out in three days. Uh, they have a statute of limitations on murder in Japan? What? That seems very dumb. Um, Nick, what does that mean? When the case statute of limitation runs out legally, the case never happened. 
Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I could understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Do we know anyone that's 50 years old? I mean, the only person we know that's that old is Grossberg. I mean, so I'm like, I'm just kind of like operating under the assumption that like a lot of times, you know, you could think they're maybe going for like a twist where like the suspect is someone that has appeared in the game previously. The only one who fits that bill, I think, is Grossberg. I think it's possible he was acting suspicious, but I feel like they would know that, right? Like, I feel like Mia would have figured, well, actually, no, it did say Mia left the law firm. So maybe it's possible she figured that out and that's why she left. So, was your father a lawyer? He was Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. Oh, is he, is he supposed to be like a, a Gregory Peck? Like, like the, I can't remember. Is that the actor who plays guy from uh, To Kill a Mockingbird? What's the actual, I can't remember the actual main, the lawyer's name from To Kill a Mockingbird. I don't know. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, you didn't really give us much to go on. You ever seen a real life Gordy? Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Like Shaggy said. Uh, right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you! Yes, will you? Of course we won't. Ah, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Yeah, I'm gonna turn down his case. Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything to you. Or, never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. He said anything for you. Hmm. My letter of request. Please, give it to Detective Gumshoe. Well, I guess we should. What's that? Earthquake! Nick! It's a biggin! Ah! It's calming down. Ooh, that was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in a ball, shivering. That's weird. Guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? I mean, isn't that kind of what they teach you? I mean, you know, you're supposed to like hide under something and, you know, protect your head. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. They have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. We never did earthquake safety drills. They're not really a thing here. So... Where's, uh, where's old Gumshoe at? I guess he has some earthquake trauma or something similar to that. I'm guessing that's important. What's going on here? What's wrong, detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while- Oh no, you met Lada. She says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's that all about, pal? Lotta Hart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a death sentence, pal? No, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. What? Why not? You trying to say something about the way I do my job? Uh, no, never. No, sir. Don't, don't scowl. You ever seen a real life uh, Edgeworth request? Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal! I'm glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? You're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. 
All right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was pretty big quake. I'm going to go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. To be continued. It's time to mentally destroy some people in a trial. Oh boy. Boxing Day trial? Let's go. Karma? That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40-year career. He's a god of prosecution, right? A god! Yeah, but we got three cases under our belt, and we've never lost a case either, so um, we're basically even. Not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm. Sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Hmm. You don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma's a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He told me what it really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of 10. Uh, so he was your teacher then? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! I mean, doesn't that just mean, I mean, that just means he has principles. That's, you know. Aside from the whole manufacturing evidence, you can kind of admire that. Oh wait, maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years! He's as ruthless as me times 20. That's pretty ruthless. You also, the, you said 10 earlier, but now it's 20? It's, it's getting, the magnitudes keep increasing. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia, you want to do some psychic voodoo? Uh-huh. We could uh, really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. I can't. No waterfalls. I tried, I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, nothing. No spirit shenanigans or anything like that. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, he, he didn't even say it first this time. Uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Ooh. You seriously think that I would stand here while I'm not completely prepared? Uh, right, my apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Very well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident now. Uh, y y yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please take a look at the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two. That's not the very middle of the lake, Gumshoe. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. Hmm. Now we've got a map. Testify the court about the arrest, now! Well, wait, Mr. Von Karma? Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Ho oh, ho ho, he's got the little finger wag. That's where Edgeworth got it. Wrong, there's only one thing you need to do here. 
He will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. But you'll add a not first. Don't don't forget that. Uh, yes, of course. You're you're quite right. Oh, he's not. Oakley doakley. A man called into the station about 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Well, yeah, what about the, the first witness? Have we ever talked about them, right? Like, we don't know who that is. God, it's not Larry, is it? It's fucking Larry. Oh my god, that asshole. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't expect him of anything at all, but the next morning a body was found in the lake. So, we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now! Okay, I mean, there's some, there's some sus things there. Let's go through it blow by blow. So, who is this man? You received a call from a man? Uh, yup. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Oh. That woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. Their testimonies are quite similar, however. Today I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping, a lot of heart. What happened next, detective? Scene of the crime as fast as we could. How long is it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Uh, well, I'd say it's about three minutes. Three minutes? That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is get there quick. Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I look forward to your next year's salary review. So much to look forward to these days. This is no time for detective daydreaming. Continue. Yes, sir. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Speculating. Detective, the court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, detective. Card, hold, objective facts. Y yes, sir. Man, he's got a share of objections. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know. We have a deep trust and relationship with the prosecutors. Detective, the court isn't interested in your musings. Deep, trusting, poppycock. I've never heard so many flippant comments, comments from an active detective on the force. Uh, detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue, now. Uh, the next morning, the body was found in the lake. Did you find any clues on the body? Just Scooby Snacks, Your Honor. A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart, fatally. It was too late. Uh, Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well, the court accepts this bullet into evidence. 22 caliber pistol, okay. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Well, why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? A pistol. Detective Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right. Sorry, Your Honor. Yeah, but how do you link it to Edgeworth? Just because, you know, there was a gun in the boat. I mean, I know it was the witness, but... What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? <laughs> uh, he has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. There were finger- Okay, see, that makes sense. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. Okay, right hand. I feel like them specifying right hand is maybe important. What? Order, order. So, Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon? Y yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. I accepted into evidence. Fired three times. Wait, fired three times? 
That seems a little odd. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective. Y y yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Uh, yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick. What does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. Well, I mean, she's not actually the lawyer. Nick, he's glaring at me. <laughs> Very well, I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Uh, me? Uh, um, uh, hmm. <laughs> ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion the bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. Uh, order? Order? Uh, edgy. Do you happen to wear gloves all the time, maybe? This is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Well, Judge, I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I can declare a verdict at this point. Shut up. However... You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last ten minutes. Judge, you will have time to eat exactly one microwavable pizza with all kinds of meat and anchovies. You may leave now. What are you doing? A ten minute recess. Now. But what well, I... Uh... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man. Uh, yes. Uh, this court will take a ten minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? Okay, so he's a, he's an interesting character. But he will fall. Just like all the rest. And all the rest is basically just Edgeworth and the guy from the first case, but... He will fall nonetheless. Edgeworth, what's going on here, man? Your fingerprints are on the murder weapon. Uh, um. And that foggy po photo makes one thing clear. I mean, yeah, that looks like that'd be his right hand, so. I was thinking, because I mean, the fact that they say right hand, that seems important that they specify that. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? Yes, it was me. What? But you must believe me. I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I don't know. You don't know? Where's she right there? Oh, so that's why he, so he probably he intended to shoot him, probably. But didn't do it, and then he got shot by someone else, which is why he was so surprised. That or the gun misfired? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Okay, so it was a different gun. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. You mean, he was suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. But how am I going to convince anyone of that? Say, Maya, want to talk to uh, the spirit? Huh? Wh wh what? Any progress with Mia? Oh, uh, sorry, it's no good. I know. I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? I can't call my sister. I might as well just not be here, right? Uh, no. I'm not gonna say, no, yeah, you're useless. No, of course not. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out, and plus, you know, in the, you know, the right moment, maybe you'll go into anime superpower mode and be able to summon her. Even if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Oh, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. Really? Whoa, whoa, right. Don't jinx this case more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh, uh, sorry. Whoops. Board is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, call your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? Lotta Hart, you are a research student at a university? That I am! Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. 
and don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? Y'all need to learn some manners. Understand? Yeah, I understand, I understand. Uh, very well, your testimony, please. It was Christmas Eve just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come up from the lake. When I looked out in the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. There wasn't nary a thing on the lake but the boat. Enough. That's only two gunshots. Huh? Judge. She happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo, except it as evidence. Well, I mean, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. Uh, order. I, I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the gun gunshot. There were no other boats on that lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. Order. Order. I will have order. Well, Judge? The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well. This court finds the defendant not guilty. Well, wait, Your Honor. I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. A cross-examination? We have photographic proof. What question can there possibly be? This photo's with a thousand words, and they all read guilty. Not a very good essay, mind you. I don't think you would accept that in English comp, but, uh... Nevertheless, it does meet the word count. You lose. Or... You claim to have found a contradiction in her testimony. Yeah. Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then, I will have you held in contempt of court. Uh, Nick, contempt? Contempt of court, you know? You get a fine. It's not that big a deal. I guess I understand. Well, uh, what are you gonna do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the facts in her testimony? I think there was. I think I noticed one little thing. Wow, I'm impressed, Nick, and I didn't notice anything. Right, let's take him on. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. <laughs> Very well. I pray for your sake, this isn't a waste of time. So I'm gonna we're gonna hone in on the two gunshots. We'll we'll go by case blow by blow. Just to see if we get any new evidence. Just after midnight, you say? In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Uh well well yeah. I know you wanna find contradictions, but really? Uh okay, that that's a that's a point. You you gotta Got a good point there. Oh. A bang? You weren't looking at the lake at that time? Uh, no. I looked after I heard that noise. She said that already. I asked you to find contradictions, not leisurely chat with a witness. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. How do you know there were men? Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? Uh, no, actually. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, yeah, well, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. There's also a photo. You best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. He jumped in quick. He's hiding something. Then there was another bang. Were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Well, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless! Contradictions, Mr. Wright, not meaningless babble. Von Karma, I think I hate you. She's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? What an area thing on that lake but, lake but the boat. Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country guy can be. That sounds pretty sure. 
How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scan the whole lake? It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Mr. Hart, you... Oh, she's there for Gordy, dude. Yeah, because didn't it say something about Gordy made a noise? That seems kind of familiar. Like when, when they, we first saw that report about it. The witness has answered the question in full. No need for further questions. Objection sustained. Uh, th that's what I'm... Sustained! Yeah, of course. Great. What am I supposed to do now? There weren't any contradictions in there. Sorry, Nick. If only my sister were here. I was really taking this hard. You know, what was this one? We didn't do this one. Why were you camping there anyway? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. What research? This is all sounds suspicious. Miss Hart, could you please be more specific about your research? What does the witness's motive in camping by the lake have to do with this case? Well, there was clearly a no camping sign. Therefore, she did an illegal activity. Therefore, uh, you've hired a convict as your witness. And therefore, I win, you lose smell eggs. The answer is nothing. I object to this line of questioning. Objection sustained. What, what that? Now, I'm the one who says that. Well, then say it already. Objection sustained. Thanks for nothing, your honor. Enough. I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. Seems you were unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth noting. But your honor... You keep your promise, Mr. Wright. I'm afraid I'll have to penalize any further outbursts by holding you in contempt of court. And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? Uh... Nick. A lot of testimony's fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I know what you mean. But... I can't say anything. What can I do? I believe we've covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Shut up! Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, please take the stand. Uh, who was that? It was me! Maya? Uh, is something wrong? Do you need to use the facilities? No, I do not. A lot of heart. Your testimony stinks. It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death. Lada? Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down. The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Lada. What's the big idea of treating me like some kind of criminal? I saw him. I swear. I saw Edgeworth. Enough, judge. Defer declare the defense in contempt of court. Uh, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard, escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He is in contempt of court and must leave. No. No! Wait! I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Nick is innocent. Ha <laughs> ha. What's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wrong. Wrong. What? He has learned the most powerful word in the English language. Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony and I have a right to cross-examine her again. And hell yeah, I'm gonna play my boombox, sir. There's nothing you can stop me. Order! Order! You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. Oh, dude, say it. Say it. Sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. I was hoping he'd just go... Overruled. Miss Lotta Hart has made a new testimony. The defense does not have a right to cross- it does have a right to cross-examine her again. But he is in contempt of court! No, I am. And if you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. Hmm. Very well. My F.A., you will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick, I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. 
Not Maya. Ha! I care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witness. Running out of time. Better find a kind of contradiction in there or else. Mr. Wright, begin your cross-examination. We got her on edge. I saw a clear as day the man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. That's it. Uh, I don't know if I can find anything in that. But I can't squander Maya's efforts either. Okay. I mean, well, it's obvious the, the photo is just super garbage, but let's press first. But what about the other man? You cannot expect her to be allowed to blindly ignore your promise, Mr. Wright. I believe you claimed there was a contradiction in the witness' testimony. Go find it, if you can. What? That's so stupid. Got you. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally! I, I do think that the photo should maybe say something about how it's, like, f foggy or something. I don't know. What? You got what? Look at this photograph. The photo I took? The very same. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss, Miss Hart. So? So? This picture was taken professional high-grade quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men in the boat. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth? Unfortunately, I have to hit the boombox play button myself now that Maya's gone. How? What? Ah! Mr. Wright has a point. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony, please! Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart. What? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course. I said I could, and I meant I could. Please testify as to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. Finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. You're right. It was a cold night, and the fog was thick as grits. So once I was, I mean, your grits shouldn't be thick if they're done properly. So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in my car. Granted, grits are, like, pretty nasty regardless. Still, I mean, they're called grits, dude. Uh, still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise out in the lake, I looked out with my binoculars. See? No problem. Hmm. Use binoculars? Very well. You gotta begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one better be good. But don't ever hit left bumper, you'll be penalized. So, how could you see Edgeworth? Yeah, just hold your horses for a second. You hasty Yankee types never find a gal where I'm from. Defense attorneys have trouble with that as it is. Nobody loves me. Your camera? Yeah, it's got automatic... Issue we're we concerned with here is Miss Hart seen Mr. Edgeworth. The camera has nothing to do with this at all. Interesting. Still, I brought my binos with me. Binoculars? Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday, you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Well, y yeah. When did you need a telescope, not binoculars for that? I've got doubts about your camera, too. Was that really to take pictures of meteor showers? The camera is irrelevant to this case. You can't say that for certain. Mr. Wright, is the camera really relevant to the case? Yes. If you believe it is, you may continue with this line of questioning. But know this. If you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Yeah. Yeah. This is make it or break it time. The camera's of the utmost importance, importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire- Okay, maybe don't lay it on that thick. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Wow, maybe I went a little overboard there. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Very well. Miss Hart, you will testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. 
<laughs> the camo was set up to take pictures of a meteor shower. When I heard that noise out of the lake, I looked with my binos. Take pictures of a meteor shower. I mean, I, I know that she's there for Gordy, but I don't know if this would, like, be the actual connection. This heart. What made you choose that lake to photograph meteors? You know the fog gets thick on that lake. It's not very suited to stargazing. Well, see, so uh, I guess I wasn't thinking too straight. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgered my witness because of our challenged intellect. Now, wait a minute. Continue your testimony. You were saying how it was that you saw Edgeworth. No unnecessary comments, please. Okay, I should, uh, let me press and don't hurt me. That was a heavy fog. How would binoculars change that at all? What do you mean? Even binoculars can't see through fog. But you say you clearly saw him. Uh, I did, yeah? Enough. There's no room for doubt in her testimony. He sounded pretty doubtful to me. I have to find a clear contradiction first. I don't care how many Von Karmic objections I get. I'm gonna find a hole in this testimony that's the last thing I do. I mean, I gotta try this. Ugh, okay. The witness testimony is clearly faulty, Your Honor. I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. I must be on the wrong track. I looked at my binoculars, but I mean, it's still foggy, dude. It's still foggy. You got in your car, the camera was set up. When I heard that noise, I looked with my binoculars. Your camera? Yeah, it's got an automatic. I really don't know. So, I mean, maybe what we could do is bring up the fact that, like, why would you have the camera to detect noises? If you're looking for meteor showers? There we go. You are photographing shooting stars. That's a lie. Says who? Says me. I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of stars, Miss Hart. Uh, it's got a wide lens. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. That won't become a popular meme for at least 10 years. Well, uh, what exactly was she... Uh, show evidence. Your Honor, take a look at this. Now we hit him with the Gordy. Miss Hart, this is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article? Gordy? Ah, the sighting of at Gord Lake. Well, Miss Hart, I, I never heard no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's see you prove that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. I mean, none of this actually mentions the, the noise, but I do remember the article saying something about, like, when it showed up, there was a noise. I guess we could maybe try and say our evidence is that the camera sets a noise. I have it. Proof. Intriguing. Very well. Let's see it. And no joking around this time, please. What is, I mean, I haven't joked around, okay? I, I don't joke. The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. Your camera was said to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus, this photograph here taken with a gun fired on the lake. And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged, but like, the article doesn't actually say that, so unless you just remember that, you're fucked. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? 
That's why you had to set your camera to respond to loud noises. Order! Order! I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. Well, Miss Hart? You were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah? Not bad. Are y'all y'all lawyers that smart? So smart, boy. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? He's got a point. That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. What you just used several precious, precious minutes of our time to prove is nothing more than that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. But there's a monster right there on the screen. Ho oh, ho, got him. <laughs> hey! But as she so succinctly said, so what? It changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason. I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart? Why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy from the court? Please revise your testimony. Right. Fine. I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change. It has to. I'm going to spot it. <laughs> Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. I'm an investigative photographer. Imagine what scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. But that's all that I was hiding. <laughs> when I heard that bang, I looked straight out at that lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. Then I saw a flash near one of uh, the men's hands, and I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at the boat the whole time, crossed my heart, and hoped to fry. Okay, I mean, there's some stuff there. Uh, you may cross-examine the witness. The witness's testimony is unchanged from before. Whether she is a research student or a photographer has no bearing on the case. There is no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. Uh... I claim the defense's right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Von Karma is up to something, I know it. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her because... Why? Was there a contradiction? Very well. You have begun the cross-examination. You seem sure of yourself. You must have something in mind. Ha! That would be a first. Uh, very funny. Ha ha, the uh, German humor and all that. You understand this is your last chance at a cross-examination, Mr. Wright. There is no problem with the testimony this time. We will let the witness leave. And he's going to announce his verdict. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Actually, I'm not a research student. I'm an investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop would be if I got a picture of that big monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. That's why you put the automatic sensor on the camera? Yep. Borrowed it from the university professor. Analyzes every sound it picks up when it gets a bang. It snaps a shot. Yep. How many pictures has it taken so far? Shit, dude. Probably like a thousand. Only time the camera was triggered was that night, and then that time you fucked me with your party pop, you stupid idiot. Hmm. I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide your true purpose of the lake. Heck, if word got out what I was up to, the lake would be swarmed with competitors. Competitors? Yeah! Second-rate shutter bugs trying to steal my scoop. Ah, is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? Well, I mean, actually... Mr. Wright, I'll not have you asking questions with no relevance to this case. Whatever you say, Von Karma, I know you told her to keep quiet. Exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. It was a lot sharper than a sound that I would have expected. Hmm. Watch the boat the whole time? There wasn't much else to look at? Yep. I don't know. If she heard a bang and she thought Gordy was out there, I kind of doubt she'd waste any time looking at a boat. What? What did I do now? What are you giving me to look for? Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some evidence. Witness, continue. Hold your hush puppies, Pops. I'm getting there. Yeah, like, what would the evidence be? I mean, you could just present the Gordy thing again? Could show him our attorney's badge. Bet you never thought of that, did you? Was there nothing on the lake but the boat at that time? Huh? 
place. You're thinking maybe he was shot from some other place? I don't think so. Nope. Lake was smooth as glass and nobody on the shore either. Hmm. Better find some sort of contradiction in this testimony. It has to be something. So I guess we'll do the first couple of uh, presses since we're not getting penalized for it. Uh, then what manner of person are you? I'm not sure I'm high floating enough, falutin enough to be called a manner of anything. An investigative photographer? Yep. You get your photo and sell it to the press, it's that kind of business. I was taking pictures at my sister's graduation last year, and guess what? Uh, what? It was a uf uf a UFO, just ha oh, UF is I think it's supposed to be UFO, just a hanging in the sky. A UFO? You know, an unidentified flying object, a UFO. That's when I heard I had a sort of revelation. I knew I should become an investigative photographer. I, I see. Kind of shaky basis for a career. Is Gordy really all that newsworthy? Heck yeah, they even had him up on the TV. I'm not sure that appearing on local news is rumors of the month segment qualifies. Last month's segment was Bigfoot sighted on Acorn Hill, I believe. Hey, they also had a picture of him in the newspaper, for real. Mr. Wright, this is one fight I do not believe you can win. Let's keep moving, shall we? Yes, your honor. All I was hiding. I'm gonna try this? Okay, we got her. Were you really looking at that boat? What? What's with you? Of course I was looking at it. I was the only thing out there. Any normal person be looking at it. But you're not a normal person, are you? I agree. Any normal person would. You're a fucking weirdo. But you are far from normal. What? Y'all want to step up here and say that? You were camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give a boat a second thought. Ah! Order! Continue, Mr. Wright. This shit is awesome again. You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars? However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Well? Huh. Well, now that y'all mention it, I did sort of take my binos and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Miss Hart, are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? Sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing, really. I was just, uh, I thought I know I could be a witness to a murder and all, and I kind of got excited, and I was sure I was watching that boat till now. This, this is totally uncalled for. Execution! Uh, but hey, you got the photograph, you got proof. Hmm. Still, we can't see who is shooting who in this. Right, right. That's why I took this photo and... Witness, that's enough. You've had a long day. Shut your pie hole. Shut my what now? What was she going to say? You took the photo and, and what? Wait a second. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you really can't tell from the photo who is shooting. That's why she said she's gonna enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of might, but let it should let us see who's who. She enlarged that photo. I want Von Karma let her show it. I've got a hunch. I bet that enlarged photo shows something bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. If I'm wrong though, it'll mean prison for Edgeworth or worse. What should I do? Miss Hart, look at this photograph. You enlarged this photo, did you not? Yeah, I did. Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? Oh no, and this is, this is, okay, it's not a trap. Because at first I was like, oh God, do you think he trapped us? I think he hit us with a, with a trap by like pretending that he didn't want it to be shown. But granted, if he wanted it to be shown, he would just show it himself. So never mind, that doesn't make any sense. But because it does not exist. What are y'all talking about? You were the ones who told me not to show it in court in the first place. You old fool. Shouldn't that be shared with the defense and discovery? Shut up, we don't care about the rules. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? 
Uh, uh... Miss Hart. Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. Show them, the t show them them tick old biddies. The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Objection. Denied. The witness will show the enlargement to the court. Here it is. That is, that's a gun. That didn't really uh, show anything. It could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Oh, oh, it's his left hand, dude. It's his left hand. It's his left hand. It's the hand that is the opposite of right, i.e. left. Happy now, Mr. Right. Hmm, there has to be something. You asked for enlargement, and you got the enlargement. And little good it has done any of us. That's why I requested you not show it. Hmm. I suppose this means the cross-examination is over, obviously. Don't unring that shit. Uh, then I would like to close the cross-examination to Miss Lotta Hart. None too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to when this trial began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. Then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. How about you declare... Mm, to shut up? It's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. This is bad. Real bad. What should I do? Show other evidence? Wait. Your Honor, this evidence... I believe we have spent enough time talking about evidence. Hmm, indeed, we don't really like that in courts. We've heard opinions on every piece of evidence but this enlargement. I see no point in retracing our steps. This is bad, real bad, what should I do? I mean, like, I don't really want to object to the... I mean, I want to object to the enlargement, but... Like, I want to bring up the gun. Your Honor! There's something decidedly strange with this enlargement. What? What might that be? Oh god, we're like an hour in. You will show the court what you mean. What about this photo? It's strange. Here goes. Uh. Take that. Here, your honor. The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter? Strange. Look at the hand holding the pistol, your honor. The hand? The hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that the left hand contradicts. Hiya! The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol with his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon are from Edgeworth's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. Order! Order! I will have order. Now that's a good place to stop. In the next video, we will push on and... Uh, oh yeah, also, I forgot. I was supposed to... Um, what is it? What about like... Te oh yeah, text box transparency. Yeah, that does look better. Well, let's see. Let's look at low and high. Um, I think I like low better. Yeah, that does look a little bit better than just full-on, completely ob ob opaque. But yeah, in the next video, we will uh, move on to see what the court has decided. I guess we'll probably get another day of investigations, I would bet. I'm Extra Cheesy 87 Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.